So hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to this call. Um, this is, as we've been calling it for the last, uh, I don't know, nine months, this is Welcome to Mondays with Dale. Uh, it's, uh, this is a, I was just looking around here. Um, I see our speaker slid off. Hope, oh, there he is right there. Okay. Um, so at any rate, what, why do we do this call? Uh, number one is because I love to be able to reach out and see all my friends every week. But more importantly, um, we were trying to create a family type atmosphere, a, a situation where people have a place to go once a week where they can feel like they're connected to the rest of us. Um, it's, it's uh, you know, in network marketing, you have to have support because there's going to be good days and there's going to be bad days. And let's, let's face it, there's going to be days when you go out and talk to four, five, six, eight, ten people and everybody says, no, nah, they're not interested or they give you some crap about, oh, I think that's a pyramid scheme or something like that. And it wears you down. OK. And then there's other days you go out and you tell you, you talk to people and they see what you have to offer. And they get it just like that. Bang. They understand what you're doing and they want to be part of it. But trust me, there's more of those, those, those negatives than there are the positives. And so you need a support group to keep you going until you have built a team, you built your own support team. Um, and that's what this is for. And we, uh, we do it because we want you to have a place to come. We want to have a place where you can find out about what's going on around the world so you can stay up to date. You can know where when the next meetings are you'll know when the next opportunity presentation is you'll know um uh when the corporate is is doing a special announcement and and be able to be part of it okay not hearing things third and fourth hand you're gonna be able to hear it right from the horse's mouth so again we want to keep you updated and and, and then along with that is, is kind of a, a follow of that is communi overall communication we need constant communication in this industry you need to be able to ha have access to people that you can reach out to, whether it be on a, a Facebook group, a, a Telegram uh, message board, a uh, WhatsApp message board. You need to have different ways that you can reach out to fellow, fellow uh, affiliates and ask them questions. Or maybe you've had a great day. You know, maybe the, one of them hasn't had a great day. So if you have a great day, let people know about it. You know, let people know when you've had a great sale. Let people know when when you've made a rank, let people know when some of your team has done something really spectacular. And, and just, it helps bring everybody up. So communication is so, so important in this industry. Um, as far as communication with me, if you guys have a pen and paper and, and don't have this already, I always want you to have access to me. So my phone number is the plus sign 1-802-343-9075. The plus sign 1-802-343-9075. That number, you can reach me on as, as my international phone number. It, you can reach me through WhatsApp using that. You can reach me through Telegram uh, using that. Um, and, and feel free to reach out to me. I, I'm looking at my phone all the time uh, be, between meetings and stuff like that. Um, you'll find that if you want to talk to me, it usually doesn't take more than a, a, a couple hours at most before I'll respond. Um, but also keep in mind that we have a time difference so that sometimes when you reach out to me, I might be in bed sleeping. <laughs> so, and I, I have to be cognizant of that too. When you guys, when I, when I reach, reach out to you, you might, it might be the same thing. So just keep, keep that in mind. We're on daylight savings time now here in the United States. So that's why this meeting, which normally starts at two o'clock on uh, in the United States is now going to be, be at one o'clock, but I don't think that changes with anybody else that we're, that we're on, they're on this call. Uh, you'll still have your regular time. The other thing you can reach me with, if you want to reach out to me on Facebook Messenger or any of that, it's just facebook.com forward slash dalefranklin.378, dalefranklin.378. Um, and feel free to reach out to me. Any, anyway, I, I just want you guys to know you have access so that you can, you can get to me. The next thing I want to show you real quickly is my, uh, uh, my dalefranklin.net Facebook page is, let's see, right here. This is Barb, Barb Zettis who's on here. Uh, she designed this Facebook page for me. Uh, she did a fantastic job. This is basically another resource for you guys. And 
you know, part of it, you know, part of it is for people who don't know me or that I'm, that I'm prospecting, they have a place to come and they can see some stuff about me. They can see a few pictures of me traveling around the world. They can see that I'm real, see a picture of me um, and, and things like that. But, and there's an opportunity blog. There's a, there's a, a part here, who is Dale? So you can hear, you can read a little bit about more about the history of me and where I come from, what, what my, my kind of why I'm doing this. And, but the most important thing to me is the things that you guys can get out of it to help you. And that's connections. We just revamped this a little bit. So it's a little more, a little more uh, user friendly. Um, we're gonna be doing, uh, eventually doing an email, uh, like, like a newsletters and that type of stuff. So um, if you wanna go on here and subscribe, you can put your, you can subscribe to, your, to my email list. You can connect to Telegram. And the thing I love about the way Barb set this up, you know, you can, if, you're, if you've never used Telegram, you just slide over here and you can click on Telegram application and it'll help you set up. And then you can connect with me using that phone number I just gave you. Um, if you wanna to subscribe to our, our network Telegram channel, you can do that. Um, the difference between a, a, the team and a channel is the channel is more us putting input in so you can know, know what's up to date. Whereas the, or the, the, uh, the regular Telegram is where you can actually, you can actually go on and post. Um, and, and, and ask questions of different people that are on the, on the, on the calls. Um, you can do the same thing with WhatsApp. Um, you can connect right here. Um, you can subscribe to YouTube, and I'm gonna come back to this in a minute, but there's many, many different playlists on, on there. The Mondays with Dale, Swahili subtitles, Ukrainian, French, um, some, of the, some of the guest appearances we've had, had throughout the, the, the couple, last couple of years. Um, Here's how to connect on WhatsApp. If you haven't ever been on WhatsApp, you can connect there. Um, you can friend me on Facebook. Uh, so again, a lot of the information I gave you earlier, you, you, you can bypass it by going here. Um, you can join some of our Facebook groups, you know, the Win Network, which is all, all of Chris Robinson's team. Uh, Win testimonials, when you have people that are asking about how does this product work or how does that product work, just go to the testimonials. And I'll guarantee you there's something in there about that product and it's gonna be a testimonial given by people who really have used them. And you know, you, what you get is nothing better than a true emotional testimonial. When somebody used something and they were so impressed by it that they, they you can tell it when they're telling their story that, they're, that, that it, it, there was an emotional connection to it. And nothing sells like emotion, guys. And, and the bottom line is when you get somebody that's talking about having, getting better sleep or having reduced pain or or whatever it might be. And you know, they, they're so emotional, maybe there's a couple of tears running down the side of their face. I mean, that sells guys, that, and you can't fake that. You can't, it, it's just not, not fakeable, it's, 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 it's real. And people will relate to that and you'll make a lot of sales just by using the, the testimonials. Then Team We, Team We is basically, um, starts with, with Chris Bailey and Chris Bailey's teams. Um, you know, uh, Chris is gonna be talking to us today in a few minutes. Um, that's all his team out of, out of, uh, all, all over the world, you know, primarily based out of Baltimore, Maryland, uh, Washington DC area. Um, but now he has actually moved to, to, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, because that's one of his dreams to live there. And because of this business, he's been able to reach that dream. So again, it's, 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 th that's his team. And then on top of that, you come down here to zoom meetings guys here is, if you get up in the morning on a Tuesday and you have somebody reach out to you and says, hey, I want to, um, uh, uh, I'm interested in this business and you want uh, to uh, have them know more about it, you just go to Tuesdays, you look up and go, okay, what's going on here? Well, there's a, there's a, there's a presentation on uh, one o'clock in South Africa. There's a, a Chris, Chris is doing a, a, a opportunity presentation at two o'clock um, for, for the African market. I mean, it's just tons of stuff here. And so don't panic. I'm updating those times right now to reflect the uh, time change. Okay, good. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I see there's a couple of things here we probably will have to discuss on Wednesday about changing and, and possibly dropping a couple of them. But uh, it's but again, it's here. It's here for us to to um, uh, for you guys to look at. And you'll see it's got the links. It's got the meeting ID numbers. If there's a password involved, it's got the passwords. So it's everything you need. To, um, to know where you can get some help on a, any given day. Now let's go back to YouTube. This YouTube 
um, this is all the video Mondays with Dale I've done since since I started. And you have all the people that I've been that I have um, interviewed. You have there's new affiliate training. There's op, uh, opportunity presentations. You you name it. There's tons and tons and tons tons of stuff in here. Um, uh, one of the ones in here, if I can find it right now, let's see. There's one in here that there's so many. Sometimes it's hard for me to find them. Well, there's one in here on relationship mapping, and as you guys, if you guys were on my Super Saturday call on our Super Saturday call on uh, last Saturday, you know that I kind of did a real quick synopsis of what relationship mapping is and how it works. And there is a, I'm pretty sure there's one in here on relationship mapping that will explain fully how to do that. So you can build your team where friends are working with friends and influencers are working with influencers. So again, uh, look for that. If, if for some reason that's not in here um, and I can't remember, uh, I will uh, just reach out to me and I can get you a copy of it. Um, there's also, when you go to playlists. I'll, f I'll find it, Dale, and post it in the chat. Okay, thank you. Um, here is, uh, it's broken down. So you have your French subtitles, your Mondays with Dale, your uh, guest appearances. So everything, you can click on this and everything that has to do with that grouping will be there and you can just, just check them all out. So again, this is such a vast amount of information and it doesn't get, guys, it doesn't get used anywhere near as much as I think it should. Um, there's just, uh, there's so much energy in here as far as guest speakers and things like that. If you just take a couple of these and have some of your prospects watch them um, or use them as ongoing training for some of your new, new uh, enrollees, it's, it's going to help you. It's going to create excitement and it's going to create a desire to be more part of this team. So having said all that, let me get out of this. Okay, so that's that's that. Also on top of that, you'll notice that um, you know on many of the groups, Jody Levanway, another one of my associates, she sends out daily schedules of meetings that can help uh, help you stay up to date on you know things that might not be in my back office. For instance, uh, a, a corporate, a special corporate meeting, uh, some special training, maybe on a cash X, things like that that are happening all the time. She'll keep you up to date. Um, so again, meetings. We have a Mondays with Dale. We have uh, uh, the ability to do three-way calls with you guys. All you have to do is let us know a couple of days in advance and we'll be glad to do a three-way call with you, uh, one of us and, and, and your prospect. Or if you wanna have a, a special grand opening party or, or any kind of party like that, where we invite 10, 20, 30 people and we do a presentation for all of them. We'll be glad to do that for you. Um, just, just have to give us a few days notice to, to set, set that up. It can be done with me. It can be done with my uplines. It can be done with some of my, my leaders uh, on my team. So we have many, many assets that can help you. Um, then, uh, of course, uh, we just had last Saturday, we had our monthly Super Saturday, which uh, if you haven't attended one of those, you're missing out. 90 minutes, usually four, three, four or five trainers. And so you get, you get a lot of different perspectives, a lot of different trainings. They're fast-paced. Uh, they're informational, and because you're seeing several different people speak in that short period of time, it you, you don't you don't get I, I know you don't get that group of people with glazed over eyes thinking oh, okay the same guy's been droning on kind of like I'm doing right now, but uh, it it uh, it keeps everything exciting and I think I haven't heard anybody yet who's been to a super Saturday that didn't say that they got something from it and it and it changed them in some way so keep that in mind and then the last thing on on meetings is. Uh, uh, remember that we have our leadership mastermind coming up March in March of 2022. Um, that's for for all leaders that are 25k or above who've uh, who followed a couple uh, a couple different rules like you know maintaining a 500 BV worth of uh, sales in each each of the months, or you can also do it by becoming a 25k and creating a 10k within your team uh, during that period of time. So. And guys, this gives you a chance to be to, to come into a meeting uh, with all the leaders of the company for three days. Um, there's nothing like sitting down over a, a meal or something like that and just listening to what other people are doing and and learning how other people are being uh, having success and, and just and just creating the friendships that will last you a lifetime. So uh, again, this is something that uh, we'd love to have as many of you want to show up for. It's uh, uh, 
and, and again, if you, if you qualify, if you're in the United States, you get $500 cash towards airfare. If you're in, Af uh, in another country, you get $1,000 towards airfare. Once you get there, they're gonna put you up in the rooms. They're gonna pay for that. They're gonna pay for your meals. So it's, it's, uh, it's practically a, a, a freebie. Um, and, and again, no, nothing like being with the leaders of a company to learn uh, to become the best you can possibly be. So having said all that, that's about meetings. The next thing I'd like to bring, I'd like to bring on our speaker for today uh, that I'm gonna be interviewing and he's gonna be doing a little training for us. And that's Chris, Chris Bailey. Now, Chris Bailey and I, we go back, uh, God, I, you know, I, I think it's been 12, 13 years that we've known each other. Uh, he is, you know, the thing I love about Chris, Chris is, he, he's just, he's a real person. I mean, he, he's a natural leader. He is a, um, uh, he has great charisma and he's a, he's a strategic thinker. So, I mean, he's always planning on how to make the, his team better, which, you know, obviously in this business, the better you can make your team, the better you can make yourself. So he's constantly trying to, um, to, to, to create more uh, success with that, within his team. And he has what I've always, something, he has something that I don't see in a lot of people. He has the natural ability to find and, and promote um, what I call his personal lieutenants, guys that come on and, uh, and have been with him for years and years and years. And, and just know him, trust him, and, and uh, become his, his right arms. I mean, so when you have a leader who's not only a leader himself, but he's creating other leaders that can do some of the same stuff, um, that you, you can't ask for more than that. Um, he's, a, he's a 50K affiliate. He's a, originally from, as I said earlier, originally from Maryland, but he's uh, now living in Fort Lauderdale, living, the, living his dream. Uh, most of the posters, pictures I see now of him when he's in, uh, on Facebook, it's always, I'm seeing the top of his feet as he's pointing out towards the beach somewhere. <laughs> so he's, it's a good life. Um, and, uh, you know, and again, he's, I, I consider him a dear friend and, uh, uh, and certainly a phenomenal business partner. So Chris, are you there? Yes, sir. How you doing today, Dale? I'm doing fantastic. So good to hear, hear from you. See ya. Well, man, thanks for having me on. I, I, I'm, I'm honored to be here. Well, it's, it's, a, uh, it's always a blessing on my end to have you here. As you can see, we got some great people here today that are, that are looking, looking forward to listening to you. Um, you know, some, a lot, most of the people here have probably heard a little bit about you in the past, but I noticed there are several new people here that, that haven't met you yet. So please take a, a, a few minutes and just kind of give us a brief history of, of where you came from, uh, your network marketing life up to today. Okay, so um, I got, uh, well, I always say during my presentation about 15 and a half years ago, I was invited to a presentation um, and watched the presentation just like, you know, all of our prospects do. And, and we all did to get started with my daily choice. And I decided to get started with that company. That was about 15 and a half years ago. And I'll be honest, I didn't know anything about network marketing, home-based business. I didn't, you know, didn't have any knowledge of it. Um, I just joined that company um, to support my friend that invited me out because the product that they were offering was something I needed anyway. So it was like perfect timing. I said I could support him because I don't care where I get it from, you know, and, and that's why I wound up getting started. Then once I got started, um, you know, I, I started reading up on everything I got involved in. And I was like, wow, people really do make money. And so that got me really excited. And that's when I went all in. And uh, after two short years of being all in, I was able to quit my full time job. That was about 13 and a half years ago. So I haven't worked a job in, in uh, you know, 13 and a half years. And, uh, you know, that's where it's led me to today. Now, in between, um, I've been with multiple companies, um, and, and this is important to, for everybody to hear. Um, it, it, the reason why I was with multiple companies, every time I'm with a company and something seems to be going good, the company does something to mess it up, you know, change the compensation plan, or, you know, wind up going out of business. I had two companies that actually, um, well, one went out of business, the other one filed for bankruptcy. Um, so... Uh, that's what's landed me actually with my daily choice. So I've been here <clears throat> for about two and a half years. And 
what's important for everybody to to at least get my opinion on is I don't think that this company will ever make all the mistakes um, that all those other companies did, one. And then two, uh, two of the companies, the one that went out of business and the other one that filed for bankruptcy, um, did it because they only had one single product line and the economy killed both of those businesses. With this company, you know, we have the house of brands, so we don't have to worry about having that same issue. So I'm very confident in this company, very excited about it. I honestly feel like this is the company I'll be with for the rest of my life. Where the other ones, I, I kind of felt that way. I was excited, to be honest, um, you know, with everything that I've done. But this one, because I trust and believe how Josh Zuego thinks and the way he's put this company together, I feel like we'll be here for life. So that's pretty much my story. Um, and, and, you know, as you said, I moved down here to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which, is, again, was my dream. Um, and I was only able to do that because we can work our business anywhere uh, in the world, you know, um, um, you know, because it's all online, we all doing Zooms and people are everywhere. So uh, what I'm working on now and which I'm going to kind of talk about some of this in, in the training, but what I'm working on now is building a powerful team here locally in Fort Lauderdale. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, I do want to mention that anybody can do this business. Uh, myself, I barely graduated high school. I had to go to summer school twice. Um, I, I don't have any college, but I was just hungry for uh, success and hungry for a better life. And uh, here I am. So um, that's pretty much my story. Um, uh, see if I'm leaving anything out. Um, no, I think that's it. All right. Very, very happy. There's a couple of things I want to point out that you, you, you were, you're very humble. So you didn't, you didn't mention some of the stuff, but uh, number one, you're an ex-Marine. Hoorah. Hoorah. <laughs> That's right. And uh, so you've got that. If you, anybody who's been a Marine, there's a certain discipline to them that uh, no one else will ever have. And, uh, and that never, I, one thing I, with all my friends that are ex-Marine, well, like you say ex-Marines, no one's ever an ex-Marine. You're a Marine for life. That's right. right. But uh, uh, again, there's that certain discipline that just never goes away. And that, that helps you a lot in this type of industry. Um, also, uh, you mentioned Zoom. Uh, you know, it's so true. You know, when I first got in network marketing, the first time I got in was I joined uh, Amway way back when I was like 19 years old for a while. And, uh, you know, and it was always done at night. It was always, you know, you, you know I, I joined in the middle of the winter. So you had to, get, you had to go to meetings and you had to go out in the cold after you worked all day and, and drive somewhere and stuff like that. Guys, we got it made now. I mean, these zoom, these zoom calls, I mean, you come home, you have dinner or, or whatever you get on a zoom call, you do a meeting um, and then you go relax or whatever. It's, it's just the, the technology today has made things so much easier and opens you up to, you know, uh, you can do a Zoom call anywhere in the world, um, whereas, you know, who's going to who's going to get up, go, work for eight hours, come home, jump in a car and drive, you know, four hours to go to a meeting and four hours back and go to work the next day where you can you can do a Zoom call and, and, and hit those same people. So, again, I, I think today in this day and age is so much easier than how it was when when, when I did it way back, way back in the day. Um, you you were there with me. Chris uh, at convention, and and uh, I mean it was three days of just incredible excitement, uh, new product lines, the whole nine yards. So I would love you to tell tell this group what you got from convention. What what because uh, I when when you came away from convention, there was a new look in your eye. You know, I call it the other day. I call it the eye of the tiger. You and Vegas Goss both had the eye of the tiger when you came back. And it's the only way I can explain it, but you had a determination in your eyes that I have not seen in a long, long time. And I want you, I want you to tell me how that happened. Yeah, so, um, you know, one of the things that I've always talked about, so, so just so everybody know, um, you know, the company is only about seven years old. It's not, it's not an old company. Um, haven't been around long, like a lot of the other companies that have been around 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And, um, you know, the company really exploded when we got the CBD line, which I believe was in 2018, okay? And 
that one product took this company, you know, made it the world's number one fastest growing home-based business on the planet. So my, my trust and belief in Josh and Jenna is that they will find another product like CBD that will take this company, you know, just be a huge spurt uh, for this company. And I truly believe that's what happened over the weekend. And the funny thing is, is, you know, we got multiple uh, product lines that can actually do that. Um, one with the body melt, the other is with the Akashics, and the other one is with the Cosmicology. So seeing those three product lines uh, really blew my mind. And, you know, we had Akashics before, but the upgrades that they've done, because cryptocurrency is so hot right now and everybody wants to know, you know, wants to know how, how it works and what it does. So that's a, an, an amazing product uh, for us and it's global. So anybody can do it uh, from anywhere and you can make a lot of money from cryptocurrency. So just, you know, the, the new product lines that rolled out had me super excited. Another thing that had me super excited was, um, you know, seeing that three people uh, made over $5 million in this company already, okay? And, you know, that's significant for, again, a seven-year-old company and me knowing that probably two of them got in when, when, when the company got CBD. So they're averaging over a million dollars a year. And also, like I said, the last company I was with, they filed for bankruptcy during COVID where our company's exploding during COVID. So, it just put a lot more belief in the in, in in you know what the company is doing, how phenomenal the company is, and also I believe that these products that just came out are magical. And I want to say this to everybody because I know we have people from all over the world on this Zoom, um, and and not everybody is going to have body melt uh, right off the break. I'm I'm sure that probably every, most com countries will eventually get it, but um, you know everything starts first in the U.S. and then kind of goes out. Um, I know that we all know, everybody on this Zoom probably knows people in the U.S., all right, or in other countries that the body melt uh, will be in, uh, and same thing with the cosmicology. So eventually, it'll make it make its way uh, to a lot of the other countries, but, you know, you can promote those products to the people in, you know, the U.S. and other markets where it's available. So, but yeah, that that's it, man. That those new products, seeing the, you know, the $5 million earners during the COVID crisis and just, you know, just the, I mean, I always believed in this company because the day one, um, you know, when we met with Josh uh, Dale and, and decided to sign on the dotted line, um, my belief was super strong then. I mean, I turned down another company that actually gave, offered me money up front and I turned that down to come to this company and start from zero. So, um, but, you know, we all need that boost every now and then. We need that kick in the butt. And that's why it's so important to go to conventions. Your belief level skyrockets at every convention. So, uh, yeah, so so that's it, man. And, and you're right, man. I'm I'm stoked out of my mind. Hey, while, while I'm on this subject, let me say this, too. All right. Uh, and I made a document for this, guys. And, you know, maybe we can get it out to everybody. Maybe they'll like send it to you. You can put it up on your um, your website. But I created a document because a lot of people think you got to make all this, you know, hit the high ranks to make serious income. I always say the magical position is 25K affiliate. At 25K affiliate in this company, you can pretty much live any lifestyle you want. All right. So um, so don't think that you got to be a super affiliate to live your dreams and all that stuff. Man, at, again, at 25K uh, you, you can you can pretty much live anywhere in the world you want and probably have paid off all your bills, you know, and li and I'm not saying you're living a rich lifestyle, but a moderate lifestyle. You can live a really good lifestyle. So, you know, everybody on here has the possibility of hitting 25K over the next couple of months. So, oh, one quick note that I want to mention, too. Right. Since we're talking about uh, where we were. So I just got this come across my uh uh, phone a, a message and you probably can't see it good but Dale that was seven years ago today I was in Vermont hanging out with you guys <laughs> so that was seven years old years ago today and that's the best thing that this industry does is 
um, gives you friends for life and relationships that are just priceless. So seven years ago today, man, we were together kicking it up in Vermont. We were. I, I got the same thing from Facebook today. I remember it very, very well. Yeah, I I, I, I remember uh, remember the night picking on you because, man, that was the first time I, I sat down. I think it was the first time I sat down with you for a, a meal. And I, I thought, man, everybody, what everybody says is true. This guy can eat. <laughs> I am the human garbage disposal. I eat everything in my path. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, a, couple, a couple of things that you just said there that made me think, you know, guy, you know, we have a tendency in network marketing to chase ranks. And there's nothing wrong with that. Having rank, making ranks is fabulous. But do you realize that we always tell the story about the guy that left that could have been uh, could have had Jenna under him. You know, he, he could have been making three million dollars a year and he could have been a 10K. But because of the way our, our comp plan is set up with our, our leadership check match and that, even though he, he could have been a I mean, he could have literally been a 10K affiliate. And because he had Jenna and all of Jenna's team under him and they were all doing huge binary, he could have made three million dollars a year as a 10k so you know uh, I, I get a kick out of it sometimes because you know in network marketing you have one guy staying on stage who's a crown this or a crown that who's is just getting by and one of his downlines who's the one actually doing all the work might not have much of a rank but he might be the one scoping in all the money so uh, you know you, you just never know and that's a great thing about network marketing it's not it's not how you get there it's 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 just the fact that you can get there um, also um, one of the things you talked about was uh, a travel and uh, about, you, about your, your old company you're with. You know, the great thing about us is we had a travel company just like the travel company you're in. The problem, the, the problem with them, that's all they had. And so when we got into the, to, to the uh, coronavirus, they were done. Whereas, did it, did it hurt our travel club? Of course it did. But we had all these other companies that carried the load. And now when as travel is coming back, that travel company is going to explode, going to explode again. But the thing was, it could survive because it was part of an umbrella company and wait for when it was good for, for them. So, and you know, and the same thing will happen from some of the other companies that we have. We're going to have companies that are going to ebb and flow, but they're going to be carried by the ones that, that, are, that are, are streaking at that point in time. And that's what comes from having a company with many, many different brands. Um, one of the other things that you said that, that, that stuck, stuck out was, you know, we have people in Canada that are 500K affiliates that haven't had very, when they first started, they became 500K affiliates when they could sell hardly anything in Canada. But they sold stuff in the, in the, uh, in the countries where they could. Um, so, uh, you know, she, she was, one of them was living in Canada, but she was selling CBD all over the United States and she became a 500K affiliate working with the countries that she could work with. So I just wanted to bring those things up because they kind of fall along with what, what Chris was saying. I got somebody here. If I can get... Hopefully that took care of it. Um, so the next thing, Chris, is um, you, you have obviously you've obviously kind of uh, started to spearhead a new growth in, in Africa with some of the stuff you're doing. Um, as far as uh, uh, more meetings, uh, uh, more opportunity presentations during the hours that the African market can, can hear them specifically catered towards that continent. Uh, you want to just take, uh, take a moment and kind of promote what you're doing so people can, can know? Yeah, so what we're doing is, and this is just the start. I mean, you know, I'm very flexible and adding stuff, changing times. Um, but this is just for us to get traction and get things going. But right now, every Tuesday and Thursday, the same time that you're on right now, I am doing the opportunity presentation, okay? So uh, you guys can invite, invite, invite. Uh, we post the link up on the different um, uh, WhatsApp and uh, Telegram groups um, so that you guys can, you know, invite prospects and get your team on. Because one of the things that's important is um, even if you don't have guests, it's important for you to get back on so you can learn more about what's going on currently with the company uh, and also get your team to do so as well. It all starts, guys, from zero. We all can get one guest on the Zoom tomorrow 
and then that person brings some guests on Thursday, and then those people bring guests next Tuesday, and we just start building this empire out. So yeah, every Tuesday and Thursday, same time as today uh, that, that uh, Dale did this meeting, uh, we'll have the live presentations. And then once a month, uh, Dale mentioned this earlier, once a month, we do Super Saturdays. We, we try to make it the first Saturday of the month, unless there's a specific holiday or something that clashes with it. Uh, look for that the first Saturday of every calendar month. Uh, we'll be having Super Saturdays. And that's really cool because as Dale said, we have multiple trainers, uh, sometimes have special guests like we did with Chris this past weekend. And, um, you know, I got some big plans with, for that as well. I, I know uh, uh, super trainers outside of my daily choice that actually train other teams. Uh, my plan is to invite some of those guys on as well in the very near future so that, you know, we're getting not only my daily choice knowledge, but um, global knowledge from uh, big leaders in the industry as well. So, yeah, those, those are really cool. So, um, but again, we can add, um, you know, change things over time. Uh, if you guys have special requests, if you have a big group that you need me to do a, a presentation for, um, I will do it. Okay, I, this is all I do for a living. So I'm available to do special events. So let's say, for example, you had a group of 20 people that want to see a, a presentation. Um, I, I can do that for you as well. So whatever it takes, man, we're all one team, one big dream, one family. Uh, let's make it happen. And you know, I'm here for you as long and, and as well as Dale is as, uh, as well. So, yep, that's it, y'all. So let's invite, invite, invite tomorrow and Thursday. And again, the link uh, will be pasted. Uh, it has been posted for the past uh, week and a half. I think we started them. Um, but, um, you know, it'll be posted again today. And I know Barb posted them as well. So, um, yeah, absolutely. Well, good. I, I again, I want people. We're, I think the next thing we're going to do is you're going to give us a little bit of training, and I, uh, that I requested. Uh, it, whatever, you, whatever you feel good training, I because I, I totally trust your ability to give us something great every time you come on. No pressure. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, uh, but but again, guys, you have you have assets like Chris that are that's willing to do opportunity presentations. This, these are guys. That have been doing this for years and years and years is what he does for a profession. And all you have to do is get people on a call. I mean, whatever it takes, invite people over for a beer, invite people over for some tea, uh, for dinner, whatever, just get them there and, and, and watch and watch his presentation. And the more people you get, he who has the most people show up at those meetings is going to win. I'll guarantee it. There's no doubt in my mind. So without further ado, Chris, please, Give us some, give us a little bit of training on, on what's going to make us a better affiliate. Okay. So it's kind of funny because what you were just saying falls right in line with what I'm training on today. And guys, Dale had no clue what I was training on today. So just, just showed you how our minds are so in sync. Um, but first real quick, I just want to give a shout out to Jody and thank her for always keeping us all up to date with all the schedules and everything, uh, posting on all the sites. And, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Huh? I said, yay, Jody. Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, she does an, an amazing job. Um, oh, and by the way, Jody, uh, uh, so tomorrow I'm, I'm doing one o'clock Eastern time, too, so it stays in the other time zone so we can go ahead and change that. All right. So what I want to talk about today, um, I consider myself a really good recruiter, guys. Um, that's, you know, in this business for you to hit the high uh, rank companies and uh, you know, different uh, companies, you have to be a recruiter. Let's call it what it is. And um, so what I did was I just jotted down some characteristics of being a really good uh, recruiter. The first one is you got to dream big or have a strong why, okay? If you're not dreaming big, you don't have a vision board, you don't have a strong why. Uh, and when I say a strong why, it should make you cry, okay? If you don't have that, then when things get tough, you know, you'll quit, you know, you, you'll stop, you'll, you'll get discouraged, you know? And um, uh, so that's the number one characteristic for me. I'm a big dreamer, right? I dreamt of moving to Fort Lauderdale and it's really cool. I have my vision board. I can actually see, I have two vision boards and I can see them both where I'm sitting right here. And on there I had, you know, moved to Florida and some stuff. And of course I was able to accomplish those things. 
but there's still a lot of other stuff that I haven't accomplished or even gotten close to yet. So, um, uh, you know, that's, it's very important to have something that's pushing you other than you just motivating yourself. Right. So that's a, a big matter of fact, that's the number one characteristic to me, because if you have a strong why, if you have a big dream, you'll figure out the how. OK, so the next one is belief. All right. You got to have belief. There's nothing worse than talking to somebody and they already know you don't even believe in yourself, the company, the products, you know. So the belief, I always say that recruiting is a transfer of belief. Right. So if I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm the belief is coming out of me and going into you when I'm talking to you. All right. That's why I was, I've been able to prospect so well and sign up so many people because I believe in this thing. I mean, here, here's my here's my thing, guys. If anyone has had success in this company, then I can do it, too. I don't care who it is. And remember, I barely graduated high school. I don't have college. Right. But my belief is through the roof. I always believe there is no there. Everybody at the top of this company and all these other companies. They're not Superman, Superwoman. They don't have an S on their chest. They're just like you and me, all right? The difference between us is they did the actions necessary and we haven't done them yet, all right? So um, that's a definitely one. And also belief in the products. And let me just say this. This company would not be this successful if they had crappy products because people would buy them once and then they wouldn't buy them again, right? The products have to be superior in, for, in order for this company to explode the way it has. Then the compensation plan. Guys, this compensation plan, I, I can even dive a little deeper into what Dale was saying, right? In this compensation plan, you in no other company I've ever seen could you do what Dale was saying the person missed out on from that signed up Jenna, right? Because the reason why we're able to do that is because we are able to be executives, which is the fourth level promotion without even, you know, having rank requirements per se, right? It's just you making a 200 BV purchase because you check match four generations deep, all right? So just the check match alone, heck, no other company you can sign up one person and make that kind of money. This person could have just signed up Jenna and made all that money just strictly off check match. There's no limit on the check match you know, for four generations. Okay, so this compensation plan is second to none, guys. It's un freaking believable. Okay, but you got to work it in order to be able to benefit from it. All right, remove emotion. This is a big one. All right, and it's very important. We all sometimes, because we're so excited about what we see. So let's say, for example, you know, uh, let's say the body melt, right? You know you got a friend that, that uses a whole bunch of workout products and they're always buying workout products, trying new stuff. Matter of fact, they even told you uh, two weeks ago that they need new products because they're tired of the same old products. And then you tell them, oh, I got the most amazing new product. And then they don't want to order from you, right? They don't want to join your deal. Man, it is so hard. And I will agree, okay, to not get emotional and be mad about that, right? But somehow you have to let it go. And the reason why is, is they may come around later and you don't wanna re ruin relationships. So one of the bad black eyes that network marketing gets is, you know, people say we're like a cult and all this kind of stuff. And it's true. I mean, there's a lot of companies where people are so cultish that if people don't buy or support them, they ruin those relationships. And that could be the worst thing you could ever do. And I'm going to share a really quick story. Um, this is, it, it, and it's funny how one little small thing can change so many people's lives. For example, if I didn't sign up in this business, nobody on my team probably would be in my daily choice, right? Same thing for Dale. If Dale didn't sign up in the business, nobody on his team might even be in my daily choice because it's the way that the, the, the triggers work, right? So... There was a, uh, if, if this didn't happen, I wouldn't be here today, all right? Um, there was a guy who tried to recruit me in a business on uh, Facebook. This was years ago, okay? And the first time he, you know, inboxed me, I told him I wasn't interested, okay? And I didn't know him, 
But he could have got pissed off and be like, well, if you ain't interested, I'm going to unfriend you and block you, right? And I'll be honest with you, when I was um, a novice at this, I've done that before. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm not wasting my space on you, <laughs> right? So anyway, this guy came at me a second time and, you know, inboxed me a few months later and said, hey, you know, I'm just checking back with you. And I said, man, I told you the first time I'm not interested in your business. I was rude to him. OK, and this guy had the audacity a third time to come at me. OK, he came at me a, 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 another couple of months later and, and, you know, again, inboxed me. And this time he said, hey, I'm just going to be in your area. Would you like to connect, hook up, you know, take a look at what I'm doing? You know, it's really awesome. Da da da. And I'm thinking to myself, I told this fool twice to get that mess out of my face. And he has the audacity to come at me a third time. Well, here's the funny thing. I joined that third time. OK, see, the first two times I just wasn't ready. My mind wasn't right. I was already in another business that I was committed to. But when I realized and found out that that business compensation plan was garbage because I was hitting the top of the company and I wasn't making hardly no money, y'all. It was embarrassing. OK, here I was hitting the top of the company where everybody has this BMW and all this. And my residual income wasn't even three hundred dollars. It was embarrassing. OK, and I said, there's no way I can stay at this company. All right. And that's when the guy inboxed me the third time. See, the first two times I thought people were making all this money at the company and I was on my grind and I was all excited. and I was all motivated. That third time I was hitting the top of the company that current month. But I saw my paychecks and I knew that my paycheck wasn't going to go up just because I crossed that threshold. It was just because my team recruited one more person, you know, and I said, you know what? I can't live like this. I can't be telling a lie and pretending like I'm making a lot of money. And, you know, this thing is garbage. And so that's when he inboxed me the third time. And at that time, I almost didn't care what it was. I just needed something new right away. <laughs> so I wound up signing up and that made him a millionaire. That day, he didn't know it, but that day he was going to be a millionaire because he signed me up. OK, because I went on to hit the top of that company and I was in his lesser leg at that time. All right. And that goes to show y'all we are one person away from a major breakthrough in our business. OK, and my example shows you about follow-up. It shows you uh, that one person can make a difference. It also shows you that it takes time. He had one leg that was growing really big and out of control. He couldn't get the other leg going until I signed up. And then I wound up killing it, okay? So, um, but that, go that, that goes to show you even with the Jenna Zawagel situation. The reason why her upline quit is because she didn't do that well in the first two years. OK, so the person was like, you know what? I ain't making enough money. Another company had what we call a shiny object. The shiny object is, you know, whenever another company comes in and say, oh, we can make you a whole bunch of money. We got this new product and it's hot and all this when you're with the best company on the planet right now. OK, but, you know, those shiny objects will come. You'll see some friends making some fast money because they were in a company like I was where you made big bonuses really fast. So it made it look like you were going to make a lot of money but there was no residual income, all right? So you can make big money fast when you're recruiting people in a new business because of excitement, but it's not long-term. So anyway, um, but two lessons there is, one is you always can be one person away from a major growth in your business. And that person may be a person you need to follow up with multiple times like it was with me. The second part of this lesson is with Jenna is you might already have that person on your team. All right. You just got to give them time to grow. You got to give them time to get better. OK, so, um, yeah, those are really, really important, um, you know, elements. All right. So that's remove emotion. OK, as, as hard as it is when your family members and all that tell you, don't let it ruin your relationship with them. Um, you know, just follow up with, you know, just be polite and say, hey, look, can I just check in with you a couple of months from now and just see how things are going in case anything changes? All right. Next one is don't prejudge. All right. Let me give you all the biggest hint on this planet. Most people, all right, including Dale Franklin, 
that do very well and especially hit the top of these network marketing companies either used to own or currently own a small business, okay? They're the hottest prospects on the planet, business owners. And I'm going to tell you why they're hot. Because one is they are what we call a red. A red is someone who's driven to make a lot of money, all right? They're already entrepreneurs. Two is they probably already have um, a following, okay? Entrepreneurs normally have a following, whether it's customers that come to their stores, whether it's family members that's always borrowing money, whether it's people who just see their success and wish they're like them, whatever it is, they create a following, right? And then the other thing about successful people, they have the money, right? How many times have you met people and they're like, oh, I want to do it. Uh, can I borrow the money, right? Or they, they get started, but don't have enough money to keep their auto ship going while they uh, build the business. So entrepreneurs, they usually have the money and understand business and understand it's not a get rich quick. So they put in the work behind the scenes to make things happen. So if you could recruit up, talk to small business owners, you know, and also business owners are usually open minded. You know, my broke friends, man, they'll call this a pyramid in a second. But if I go to my more successful friends, they'll look at this in a second. OK, so recruit up, guys. You know, get out your comfort zone. Heck, you know, you might even just start uh, walking into a couple of small businesses and getting to know the owner and build a relationship. OK. All right. Always add names. So right now I'm working on some incredibly hot prospects here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, I'm planting the seeds and talking to uh, a couple of people that I truly believe will be very well at this business. But I'm always adding names. All right. I'm on social media. You guys see it. You know, I'll go on. And when we had the Akashic uh, presentation the other night, you know, I, I made a, uh, a post about, hey, do you want to learn more about cryptocurrency? Now, I had about four or five people that got on the Zoom, but I had about seven or eight people that inbox. me. OK, so those people, I'm adding them to my list. All right. So I'm always adding names to the list. The, um, the people that I'm talking to that I'm selling the vision to down here. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm adding them to the list, okay? All right. And then last but not least, and I've touched on this, but I'm going to drive it home. Never, ever, 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 ever quit this business, ever, okay? Even if you have to, you know, if you're going through financial struggles and you just got to drop down from being an executive and, you know, just make a lower product purchase just to keep your position active, man, don't do it, all right? Don't be the guy that signed up Jen as a waiver, okay? Don't be that guy. Never quit. Always keep working. Focus on getting better. Get out your comfort zone. I always say your comfort zone is your broke zone, okay? So if you're not having success in this business, you're probably not getting uncomfortable. You're probably not doing something you're a little nervous about, okay? And then the last thing I'm, uh, that I just thought of as I'm closing out is we all have fear, okay? We just do it anyway. So if you're scared to walk in there into that store and talk to that business owner, do it anyway, all right? Get that 30 seconds of courage, take a deep breath. If there's someone that looks super sharp, they got a nice car and you wanna to talk to them about the business and you're scared, do it anyway, all right? Because the last time I checked, nobody ever got shot, stabbed, bitten, punched or anything by asking somebody if they wanna make some extra money. So with that being said, Thank you guys so much for having me on. Uh, Dale, I'm going to turn it back to you, man. Thanks so much uh, for allowing me to speak uh, today as well. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. That was fantastic. You know, one of, the, one of the things you just said that made me think, you know, you're living in Fort Lauderdale, you know, one of the yacht capitals of the world, right? And I will guarantee you there are people living on those yachts that are spending every dime they make and looking for more money. You know, the, the thing we make a mistake about, guys, is we think, you know, we think, OK, we're in our 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 world and we're 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 always kind of, you know, robbing from Peter to pay Paul and that kind of stuff. And we do that for years and years and years to try to get a better life. And we think it's just us. It's everybody. It's everybody. I don't care if you're making ten thousand dollars a year or ten million dollars a year or ten billion dollars a year. 
most people are spending close to what they're making. You know, maybe a ten million billion dollar guy isn't spending ten billion, but but bottom, but he might be. You know, uh, uh, Antoine Walker, who played basketball for the Boston Celtics, he made a hundred and forty one million dollars in his lifetime playing basketball. And by the time he was forty, he was working. He was playing the Continental League, making forty thousand dollars a a year on the con on the on forty thousand dollars a month on the Continental League. Um, because he'd spent his whole $140 million. Can you imagine? I mean, he should have had enough money to, to take care of himself, his kids and his grandkids for multiple generations. He blew it all in a period of 15 years. So people spend right to the max of their income. So that means when you're looking at that guy and you think, oh, wow, he's a multi, multi, multi millionaire, walk up to him. A no doesn't hurt. And you know, the guy says, the guy says, hey, I'm not interested, get out of my face. I can, I can handle that. And you can too. But the bottom line is, it's going to be one of those is thinking, my God, I'm about to lose my Mercedes. I'm about to lose my Lamborghini. I need to do something else. And maybe this is it. So never prejudge, as Chris said. And, and it, it doesn't matter what income level you're at. People in that income level are looking for something else. I'll guarantee it. And, and, and Dale, I just thought of one last thing I would just want to say. All oh, right. Well. And, and, and this is important because it's going to happen to everybody on here because it still happens to me. I have so many people that don't show up when they tell me they're going to do it. All right, man. It's so hard not to get discouraged because I, I, I can sit here and lie and tell you I don't get discouraged and I'll be lying. I get discouraged, too. Right. But again, my belief is my belief just overrides my discouragement. My belief overrides my fear. But there are times when I have 10 guests that said that they're going to get on and not one of them show up. All right. So I'm just preparing you guys. So when that happens, don't think, oh, that don't never happen to Chris. It does. All right. So don't think that because I'm a great recruiter, that don't happen to me. What my thing is, and Dale mentioned the numbers earlier, I just recruit in larger numbers. All right. And, you know, discouragement motivates me. All right. So when that happens, I go, I, I'm like, all right, if they're not going to show up, I'm going to go talk to their sister, their mother, their cousin. I'm going to get all their family in and then they're going to have to come in at the bottom. <laughs> I, I call that revenge recruiting. You know, nothing, nothing worse than having somebody say that won't work. And then all of a sudden they, you make their sister or their cousin a lot of money. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, again, Chris, thank you so much. Um, this has been a great, a great, uh, great training guys as, as, as was said here today, you know, we all, we all go through the struggles. Uh, I've you've heard me say this before. I have been in many, many network marketing conventions in my lifetime. And in every one of them, every leader who got up and spoke had one thing in common. They all said that they had almost quit a dozen times. Every single guy that's up there on stage who's making tens of million, millions and tens of millions of dollars all have one thing in common. They all thought about quitting at least a dozen times. So when you know that, it means that every, anybody can do this. Anybody can succeed. It just takes that kind of mental strength to know that you've got to be as strong as that guy that was on stage. And that's, 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 that's the only thing you have to worry about. And it's, as Chris said, it's all about numbers. The more people you tell about this, the more people are going to say no, but the more people are going to say yes. So having said all that, guys, you know how I feel about all of you. I love you all. I want you to all succeed. I want to be at convention and watch you walk across stage. I want, I, I just, you know, it, it, it's, it's my thing. I want to see you all have, have a, a better life and have the success that, uh, that I want for you. I want you to want it for yourself as much as I want it for you. So having said that, have a great week. Again, Chris, thank you so, so much. Uh, you, you always do a, a super job for, for me whenever you come on. And uh, everybody have a great week. And uh, we'll see you again. If not before, we'll see you next Monday. So this call is now officially over. Take care, everybody.